in our number line, we've talked about things come in a certain order, right? Mm -hmm. We did. And sometimes things come ahead of all the others. Do you remember what that's called if it becomes ahead of the others? Is it first or last? Which comes ahead of the others, Jasmine? This is last. This is after the others. What if it comes in front of the others, Tyrese? First. Good, and what's that called? Uh, first. First, very good. Jasmine, what number comes first on our number line? One. Very good. So I'm gonna put our, our word first over our number one. Good. What comes after the first one? Rosa, what comes after the first one? We know that number one is first. What comes after first? Push it. Second. Yeah, good job. Yay. <laughs> second is the one next in line. What number comes second? One is first. Two. Very good, Jazz. Two is second. Now at the very end, we have another, another number. Our last number is 10, okay? And we called it what? What comes at the end of all the others? Last. Last, very good. Last. Ashley, this is the sign for last. Can you touch last for me? This hand right here. Good job, Ash. Very good. All right, I'm gonna hang it right here by our number 10. 10 is our last number. Very nice job. So what number was first? One. One. What number was second? Two. Good. What number was last, Jasmine? Ten. Very good. Today, we're gonna read a story and I've got some items here that our story is gonna have in it. What do I have? What is that? Do you see something like that on your board? Can you tell me what it is? Soup. Okay, you're right, that is soup. What about this, what's that? Sandwich. Very good job, awesome. Ashley, I got a sandwich <laughs> and I've got some soup. It's okay, you wanna touch that soup for me? Which one is the soup, Ashley? Where's my soup, Ash? That's my sandwich. Where's my soup? Oh, you like sandwiches better, huh? I gotcha. Which one? You like the sandwich. All right. Rosa, what do you think I've got? What do I have? Lunch. That's lunch. It is. What about that? Soup. So let's read our story. Our story is called, Havel Works Up an Appetite. All right, let's follow with our fingers while we read, okay? Havel went shopping at the mall. Tyrese, do you like to go to the mall? Yeah. Yeah, me too. Jazz, do you go to the mall? Yeah. He was hungry, so he went to the food court. He bought a... A sandwich. Our sandwich. And he bought it for four dollars. Good, good four. Where's the four, Jazz? Good. Where's the number four, Rosa? Good, that is a four. He also bought soup. Pavel spent eight dollars on his lunch. How many dollars did Pavel spend on his soup? We have to find something out. We don't know all the information. That kind of math is called algebra. Can you say algebra? Algebra. Good, algebra. Algebra is math that we use every day so that we can find out something we don't know. We have to use what we do know. So we are gonna find out some facts. Facts are information that we do know. We're gonna read the story again and we're gonna use an equation just like this to find out what we don't know. Let's see. 
Pavel went shopping at the mall. What do we need to find out? Do we need to find out how many dollars he spent on his soup? Or do we need to find out what kind of sandwich did he buy? What kind of sandwich? That's a, that's a good answer. Let's see, let's go back to our story and see. How many dollars did Pavel spend on his soup? Okay, so you're saying number one. All right, let's check that one. Do we need to find out how many dollars he spent on his soup? Or what kind of sandwich? The soup or the sandwich? The soup, okay, good job. He bought a sandwich for four dollars. That sounds like a fact, doesn't it, Tyrese? Yeah. What fact do you see in there, Jasmine? The dollars, okay. How many dollars did he spend? Four or eight? Four. That is our first fact. What number is this? Do you see that number up here? Four. Good job. Can you count out four dollars for me? Yeah. Help me count. One, two, three, four. All right, so on my equation, I need to write the number four. Jasmine, can you help me see where do I need to write the number four? Is it my first fact or my last fact? Where do I need to put it? That's the sign, we haven't done that yet. Do I need to put it here or here? Which one? This is our last fact. The first fact, good, it came first. So on my board, I'm gonna write a number four. You can write one on your equation under the first fact. Where's the first fact on your equation? Is it here or here? That's what we're trying to find out. Very good. We know he spent $4 on his sandwich, but we don't know how much he spent on his soup, do we? We don't know. In, in math and in algebra, when we don't know something, we use a special sign. Tyrese, do we use an X or a question mark in algebra if we don't know? X. An X, very good. Jasmine, what do we use? Good, can you show me on your board? Do you see an X? Very good. And what does X mean? Can you tell me what X means? Unknown. That's right, we don't know it. So that's what we're trying to find out. Do we put a question mark or an X? X. X, very good. So on my equation, I am going to write for the second fact, an X, because I don't know what the second fact is. Now we're gonna try to find our last fact. Where do we find our facts from, Tyrese? Do we ask the computer or do we read our story? Read our story. Read our story, right, it's in our story. It said he spent $4 on the sandwich, he also bought soup. Pavel spent $8 on his lunch. So Jasmine, how much did he spend all together? The eight, very good. Do you see an eight up here? Eight. That's right, very good. Rosa, how much did he spend on his lunch? Eight. Eight, good. Now that's at the end of our story. So which fact is eight? Tyrese, where am I gonna put my eight on my equation? The last. The last fact, very good. So on my last fact, I'm going to write an eight. Oh, good eight, very good. All right, we have our facts. We know that he spent $4 on the sandwich and we know he spent eight all together. We're gonna look at our facts and figure out whether we need to add or subtract. Okay, I'm gonna come around and give you each a red chip and a green chip. So I'm gonna put my green chip on my first fact. So I'm gonna put my green chip right on that number four. 
Where's four? Good. So I'm going to put that green chip right there. Good job, Jazz. Good, Tyrese. Then I need to know where to put my red chip. Ashley, I need my last fact. Is my last fact four or eight? Here's a four. Here's an eight. Let's look at our equation. This is my last fact. It is an eight. Can you show me which one is an eight? Good, good looking at that eight. So I'm gonna put my red chip on what number, Jasmine? My red chip, and let's put it on the eight. Take your red chip. Good job, job. Very good. Yeah. All right. Now, Rosa, we have to solve the problem. Are you ready? Yes. Me too. We have to decide too, or are we gonna add or subtract? The way we find that out is we look at the red and the green and we see which direction we're going. Here's my green. If I'm gonna go to red, which one's bigger, Tyrese? Eight or four? Green. I have one, two, three, four. If I have eight, count with me. One, one two, <laughs> three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Which one is more? Four or eight? Eight. Eight. Good. So I am trying to move from left to right. If I'm going this direction, I add. Okay? Okay. We have two signs on there that mean add. We have two signs on our equation. One means add and one means subtract. Which one means add? Good. That's the plus sign. Which one means add, Jasmine? Good. Very good. And what does add mean? Can you tell me? Add. Okay. What does add mean? Join together. To join together. Very good. So on our equation, we need to circle the symbol for add. Right. Good. Good. Ashley, yeah. we've got add. Let's we'll circle add on your paper. Now we can read our equation, right? Yeah. Yeah. Let's read it together. Four, Four plus, plus X, X equals eight. All right, Jasmine, will you read it for me? Four plus X equals eight. Very good. Very good. Tyrese, can you read it for me off your book? Four plus X now equals. equals eight. Very, Very good. good. All right, Miss Ashley, will you read that equation for me, please? Four plus X equals eight. Very good, Ashley. No, we are ready now to solve for X. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna start at our green and count the dots until we get to red. Are you ready? Count with me. One, two, three, four. Yay! So Tyrese, X equals? Four. Four. Good job. All right. All right. What does X equal, Jasmine? Good job. All right, yeah. All right, Rosa, will you count out our four dollars? One, two, three, four. Good job. So you could buy some soup for four dollars. Good job. Good job. We better double check our work. Let's, Let's see. One. Two, three, four, three, five, six, seven, eight. Good job, Tyrese.
Greece. Yeah. All right. Hey. <laughs> Did it work yeah. out? Yeah. All right, Miss Ashley, let's check your problem here. That was four. We said sandwich was one, two, three, four. And we bought some soup. And we figured out that the soup was four too. So let's say one, two, three, four. Five. And then add means what? Put them together. Put them together, right. So Ashley, if we put them together, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, four plus four equals eight. Good job. We can put X equals four. Did we solve our problem, Tyrese? Yeah. Good, what was our problem? We had to find out what? How much? The soup. How much money did the soup cost? And we solved our problem. How much money did we say the soup cost? Four. Four, very good, good job. All right, give yourselves a hand for today. Good job. Yay.